Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number eight from the October 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 paper. Question about series. It says, in a large theater, there are N rows of seats where N is a constant. The number of seats in the first row is A, where A is a constant. In each subsequent row, there are four more seats than in the previous row. So that in the second row, there are A plus four seats. In the third row, there are A plus eight seats and so on. The number of seats in each row form an arithmetic sequence. Given that the total number of seats in the first 10 rows is 360, find the value of A. So here we have an arithmetic sequence. And when we have an arithmetic sequence, there are two different formulas that should come to mind, um, and which are in our formula book. One is UN equals A plus N minus 1 times D. The other one is SN equals N over 2 times 2A plus n minus 1 times d, which also can be uh, given in the form n over 2 times a plus l. Okay, so the first um, formula here is when you are asked to find a particular term in a sequence. And the second two, these, these are the, the second and the third, are when you have to deal with the sum of the, a certain number of terms in a sequence. And in this question it says, given that the total number of seats in the first 10 rows, so it's like the sum of the seats in the first 10 rows, seems like we have to be dealing with the sum of the sequences. That's what we have to deal with. So this is an arithmetic sequence, which means that there is a common difference and a first term. Now, the first term they told us, they called it A, which is what A stands for in the formula. And the common difference D is the number you have to add each time to get from one term to another. So if we just write down what we have from the question, um, you know, they've given us a particular, you know, um, number, position, and they've given us the term in that position. So the first term is A. The second term is A plus 4. The third term is A plus 8. Okay. So we can see that there's every time to get from one term to the other, you have to add four. So we can say the first term is A, and the common difference is four. So you have to add four each time to get to the next term. All right? So we know that the sum of, we also told that the sum of the first 10 terms, I'll write that over here, is equal to 360. So if we use this formula here, that n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d, so we're using this formula, so n is 10 over 2 times 2 times a, 2 times a, which we don't know, we have to find, plus n minus 1, so it's 10 minus 1, which is 9 times d, which is 4, is equal to 360. Okay, that will be what we need to solve this problem. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, so what we can do is we can say 2a, plus 36 equals 360 divided by 5. Okay, divide both sides by 5. So 2a plus 36 is equal to, that's going to be 700, and, that's going to be 72. So 2a is equal to 72 minus 36. So 2a is equal to 36. 36 times 2 is 72. Let me just make some more space here. All right, so then we can say a is going to be 18. A is going to be 36 divided by 2 is 18. So we found the value of A, which is what we have to do. Um, find the value of A. So there's that part of the question complete. And now we've got to um, find part B, which says, given also that the total number of seats in the N rows is 2,146. Okay, so we know that the total number of seats in all the N rows, okay, is 2,156. So we know that SN is equal to 2,146. Okay, we now know A is 18. We know D is 4. So we can make an equation from this. We can say that, again, SN is equal to N over 2 times 2A plus N minus 1 times D. So we know that the total sum is 2,146. So we can say N over 2, which we don't know what N is. We're going to end up with an equation like this. Um, times 2 times 18, plus n minus 1, which is going to be, again, n minus 1, times 4, okay, is equal to 2,146. 
So what we can do here, let's just uh, simplify this first. That's 36 plus uh, 4n minus 4 equals 2146. Um, if we multiply this out, that's going to be 36 times n over 2, which is 18n. And you're going to have 4n times n over 2, which is 2n squared. And you're going to have minus um, 2, uh, minus 2n equals 2,146. So 18n minus, so you have 2n squared, you have 18n minus 2n, which is plus 16n, minus 2,146 is equal to 0. Okay, and now what we can do is, we can simplify this, the, everything is divisible by 2, n squared plus 8n minus, so 2 into 2 goes 1 time, 0, uh, 2, 3, 1, uh, sorry, remainder 1. So two, 2 into 1 goes uh, 1 time. 2 into 1 doesn't go remainder 1, so that's going to be 0. And then 2 into 14 goes 7. 2 into 6 goes 3. So we end up with what we have to show. n squared plus 8n minus 1073 equals 0. And that's the answer to part B. Okay, so that's part B done. Now let's move on to part C. Um, where is part C? Second. Ah, then it says, hence state the number of rows. Ended up down here. Let me just bring, bring it here. It says, hence part one. It says, state the number of rows of seats in the theater and find the maximum number of seats in any one row. Okay, so we had n squared um, plus 8n minus 1073 plus 8n minus 1073 equals zero. So this is the equation that we ended up with. So n squared plus 8n minus 1073 equals zero. If you want to solve this equation, we could try to solve this equation by using the quadratic formula or by factorizing. Factorizing would be a bit tough here. Um, I'm going to just complete the square. I think that will be better. So you have n, because this is quite easy to complete the square for something like this. So you have n plus 4, all squared equals uh, minus 16, sorry, minus 16. And I'm just going to add this to both sides at the same time, 1073. So we have n plus 4, all squared is equal to 1,000, and if you add 16 to 73, you're going to get 89. Now let's see if that is, is a square root for that. The square root of 1,089 gives us, good, yeah, 33. So it, it could have been factorized, but it wasn't that easy to think of it. So plus or minus, what was the, what was the number? 33. Plus or minus 33. So n is equal to either uh, minus 4 plus or minus 33. So the n can either be minus 4 plus 33, which is going to be 29, or n can be minus 4 minus 33, which is minus 37. Of course, you can't have a negative number of rows. So we can say that the number of rows has to be 29. Is 29 rows. Okay, there's part one. Um, then find the maximum number of seats in any one row. Okay, the maximum number of seats in any one row. Okay, let's have a look. So, in the third row, the eight plus eight seats. Okay, so the maximum number of seats in any one row. It, well, so we can see in the twenty ninth, in the twenty ninth row. Okay, we can see that they're going to be. How many seats? We see that on the third row, there's A plus 8 seats. In the second row, there's A plus 4 seats. Okay, so in the third, second row, let's see, A was 18, right? So let's just have a look at the sequence here we have here. Uh, we have the first, we're looking for the number of, we're, we're actually looking for the, the term. Okay. So the term here, because each of this is, this tells us how many, what the term is in each of those rows, right? So we're looking for how many seats in the 29th row. So we're looking for what the 29th term is. So we know that the first term is 18, okay, as we found. Okay, the first term was 18. And then it goes up in fours, as we said. The second term was um, 22. Then the third term was 
26 goes up in fours. We're looking for what the 29th term is going to be. Okay, what is the 29th term going to be? So we can use our formula. We know A is 18. We know D is 4. Uh, we know N is 29. So we can say that the 29th term is going to be A, which is 18, plus N minus 1, which is going to be 28 times D, which is 4. Okay, we know that the nth term is given by un equals a plus n minus 1 times d. So you end up with 18 plus 24 times, 28 times 4, sorry. 28 times 4 plus 18, and that gives us 130. So that just put the answer here, 130. So the 29th term is going to be 130. So there's 130 seats in the very last row. Okay, so that's the answer. So the maximum seats is going to be that because, uh, you know, the last row is going to have the maximum number of seats, isn't it? Okay, the last row is going to have the maximum number of seats. So that completes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. Other questions about series will be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here you can um, subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and the video here will tell you how to find um, other material from my channel that you might find interesting. Thank you for watching and see you soon.